Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a rational expression, or we could call this an algebraic expression. So obviously you don't want the denominator to be zero, so we're going to exclude those xy values for which the denominator equals zero. So for which this is defined, we're going to simplify it. All right, how to simplify such an expression? We have the seventh power, you know, we have some fifth powers. Obviously, we're going to use the binomial theorem here. So let me go ahead and work on the numerator and denominator separately. I'll start with the numerator, and I'm going to expand this. So let's go ahead and write this as x plus y to the seventh power, and then take out a negative one, and write the second part as a sum. So here's the critical part. I'm going to factor this because, oops, I wrote the x twice. I'm going to factor this because uh, when you have a sum of two odd powers, it's factorable, okay? But if it's even, uh, it's a little different. So let's go ahead and factor this, and then you know the binomial theorem, and now we're gonna subtract them. So let me go ahead and use two rows. Let's do the binomial first. So we get x to the seventh power. And by the way, uh, we don't have to use the uh, binomial theorem for seventh power, so we can kind of save a little bit of space if you factor the second one first. So let me go ahead and do that. If you factor the second term, we get the following. First of all, it's divisible by x plus y, and then the second factor becomes x to the six, and here's how you form it. Uh, you use the plus minus sign alternating, and the powers of x go down and the powers of y goes up, and their sum is always uh, six. So you start off with x to the six, and then you write x to the fifth, add a y, plus x to the fourth y squared, minus x cubed y cubed. Notice that the sum of powers is always uh, 6. And then you get x squared y to the fourth. Notice the symmetry. Minus x y to the fifth. And finally, you're going to get plus y to the sixth. Okay, it's kind of hard to fit, uh, but I tried my best. So that's the factors. Now, notice that both of these have x plus y as a common factor. So we can kind of take that out. And now, from here, we're going to get x plus y to the 6th power minus this x to the power 6 minus x to the 5th y plus x to the 4th y squared minus x cubed y cubed plus x squared y to the 4th minus x y to the 5th plus y to the 6th. Okay, great. So we're going to go ahead and expand x plus y to the 6th power here and then subtract the other guy. Since it's going to take too long, I'm going to do two rows again and subtract that way. So let's go ahead and expand this. It's going to become um, x to the 6th power. And remember the uh, coefficients for 6th uh, row of Pascal's triangle. It's going to become x to the 6th plus 6x to the 5th y. And you're going to get 15x to the 4th y squared. And then you're going to get a 20x cubed y cubed. This is the middle term. And now we're going to get uh, 15 again, x squared y to the fourth plus 6xy to the fifth. And finally, we get y to the sixth. This is just the first part. And then from this, we're going to subtract something. So let's go ahead and negate everything here so we can just add them. We get negative x to the sixth plus x to the fifth y minus x to the four y squared plus x cubed y cubed minus x squared y to the fourth plus xy to the fifth minus y to the sixth. Since we negated everything in the second parentheses, uh, we can go ahead and add these up. And some of the terms are going to cancel out, like these two and those two. And we end up with uh, like terms. Let's go ahead and add them up. This gives us 7x to the fifth y plus 14x to the fourth y squared plus 21x cubed y cubed plus 14x squared y to the fourth plus 7x y to the fifth. Again, we have that kind of nice symmetry where uh, the coefficients are equal when they're the same distance uh, from the center and the powers kind of alternate. This is still a handful expression, so let's go ahead and see how we can simplify this. Obviously, we can factor out a 7xy here, so that's kind of cool. And don't forget, we still have an x plus y uh, as one of the factors, but later on, we're going to add that. So 7xy, if you factor that out, you're going to get x to the fourth power plus 2x, uh, let's see, what am I getting from? 2x cubed y, brain freeze, plus 3x squared y squared, plus 2xy cubed, plus y to the fourth. Okay, here we go. Now, of course, we have an x plus y as well. We're going to add that at the end. So the expression inside the parentheses is still factorable. Why is that factorable? Let me show you. 
Uh, well, we can kind of write it this way, and I'll probably, can I just forget about the 7xy for now, and then I'm, I'm just going to include those later on, because I want to focus on this now. All right, so here's what I can do with that one. I can kind of write this as x to the fourth plus x squared y squared plus y to the fourth, and then everything else I'm going to separate, so like this. So it's kind of nice, the, the motivation behind separating one of the x squared y squared is to get a coefficient of 2 for the three terms. Um, it's not factorable as is yet, um, but we're going to do something real cool here. This is the sum of three squares. So if you have something like a squared plus b squared plus c squared, you can always write it as a plus b plus c quantity squared minus 2 times the quantity ab plus ac plus bc. You know, this comes from the fact um, the the square of a trinomial, right? So we can go ahead and do the following then for the, uh, for the first three terms. We can write this as x squared plus xy plus y squared squared minus 2 times the quantity. Now I'm going to do the two-way products now. Like, for example, I'm going to multiply x squared and xy. And that's going to give me x cubed y. And I'm going to multiply the first and the third, which is going to give me x squared y squared. And then I'll do the second and the third. That's going to give me xy cubed. Awesome. And then, of course, I still have to add this to that. 2x cubed y plus 2x squared y squared plus 2xy cubed. But guess what? These two are opposites. Though they, so they completely cancel out, leaving us with the perfect square. There's other ways to get that, but I just wanted to use this method. So I'm done with the numerator, and let me go ahead and put it all together and give you what the numerator looks like. So it's going to be 7xy times x plus y. Remember, we had that. And the other gigantic factor is going to be x squared plus xy plus y squared squared. So that is my numerator. And then let's go ahead and simplify the denominator, and then we're going to put those two together. All right, if you still have the patience. All right, let's go. We have x plus y to the fifth power, and we're going to do something similar. Uh, we'll, we'll take out a negative 1. And now we're going to focus on factoring the same way, exact same thing. So x plus y, and you can take that out, x plus y to the fourth minus. So we're going to be thinking about what is the factor for this number, uh, for this expression besides x plus y. It has x to the fourth minus x cubed y plus x squared y squared. And trust me, this is going to be easier because it's only fifth powers. And we're done. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and expand x plus y to the fourth and subtract that. Let's leave the x plus y for now. So x plus y to the fourth is going to be x to the fourth we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Those are the coefficients of Pascal's triangle fourth row. And since we're going to subtract this, let's go ahead and negate everything and add negative x to the fourth plus x cubed y minus x squared y squared plus xy cubed minus y to the fourth. Now we're going to add these up, and guess what? Uh, things are going to cancel out again, like before. Great. Awesome. We're going to cancel these out, and the sum is going to be 5x cubed y plus 5x squared y squared plus 5xy cubed. Awesome. It's much simpler. And now here we can do the following. We can take out a 5xy and get x squared plus xy plus y squared. Does that look familiar? I hope it does. And this is going to be my denominator. So I got the numerator, and I got the denominator. Let's go ahead and put it together and simplify our expression. Our original expression was x plus y to the 7th minus x to the 7th minus y to the 7th, and that is divided by the same thing with fifth powers. And that is equal to now my numerator. Let's go ahead and look at our cheat sheet. 7xy, we have 7xy, we have x plus y, and we also have x squared plus xy plus y squared, but that is also squared. Oh, man. That's crazy. And then the bottom one is right here. Denominator is much, much better. 5xy, x squared plus xy plus y squared. And finally, we can simplify this and get the answer in the simplest form. xy definitely cancels out. And one of these also cancel out, leaving us with something hmm, maybe simpler. And I'm going to write this as 7 over 5. x plus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared. And that is going to be our answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. 
with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.